you're listening to Soulful Entrepreneurs Unleashed with Cass Duffhill, and I'm determined to show you that you can be a heart-led entrepreneur and create a wildly abundant business. Whether you're a seasoned entrepreneur or just starting out, I'll share with you a unique blend of simple, soulful marketing and revenue-generating business tips so you can grow a lasting legacy beyond the constraints of one-to-one. Welcome to Soulful Entrepreneurs Unleashed. Tell me, do you ever find marketing overwhelming or confusing? You know that you want to market your business and you know that you need to, but you're not exactly sure how to do it. Also, as healers, helpers, practitioners, and coaches, you are all on a mission to help people, which means that your marketing has to come from a different perspective, which is full of authenticity and integrity. And sometimes that can be really hard to integrate. You know that you need to be able to market to be able to grow your business, but it can be hard to do that while staying true to yourself and to your bigger purpose as well. It's not about doing things bigger or better than anybody else. It's about being really clear about who you are and who you help and what you do. It's about staying in your lane, carving out your specific area of expertise, being really, really consistent and just knowing who you are as an entrepreneur. Now today, I'm going to take you through how you can create marketing that really ignites momentum in your business and blends the traditional areas of marketing with those more specific to us in the healing and helping range. So my friends, let's dive on into today's episode. Believe me when I say to you that it actually is easier than you think it is to get the blend right and to be able to show yourself and what you do so clearly in your marketing. So in today's episode, that's what we're going to do. We're going to talk through the marketing foundations so you can get those right. And then we're going to discuss how you can sprinkle that with heart and soul so you can show who you are and what you do. That way, you can really start to shine through your marketing. By the end of this episode, you will have some easy strategies and some impactful tips that you can start implementing right now to get momentum in your marketing and in your business. It will help you stand out and it will support you in making a positive impact and a bigger impact in the lives of those that you will help. So to begin with, marketing needs some specific foundations and without those being clearly defined, The truth is you will struggle to create impact in your marketing and you will also struggle to connect with the right people. It is really essential that you can define these three core elements. Those elements are firstly your purpose and your why, the the why that underpins what you do. Secondly, you need to take time to reflect on your core values, your passion, your mission, to be sure that your business and what you're offering aligns with you and your bigger goals and your bigger dreams. If you don't do that step, you might find yourself feeling disillusioned with your business and struggling to stay the course. And finally, you need to be crystal clear on your ideal client and your target audience or your niche, whatever you'd like to call it, because you need to be able to identify really clearly who your ideal clients are. It is by understanding your ideal client's needs, desires, pain points, that you'll be able to create really targeted marketing messages that will deeply resonate with them. And it's when they can see themselves in these messages that you will get more traction in your marketing. So having a deep understanding of this ideal client means that more than just messaging, you will be able to create the right transformative solutions for them and make the right offers too. Those foundations are true for every business, not just for us, but I guarantee you if you are unclear about your ideal client or your target audience or your niche or your purpose, your audience will be too. That confusion and the lack of clarity that you have, it will show up in your marketing messaging and it will leave your audience really unsure about who you help or how you help them. So so after you've become super clear on those foundational elements, It's now time to craft your brand story or your origin story. 
storytelling is a really powerful tool in marketing because it helps you connect with your audience on a really deep level. Infusing your journey, your passion, and the transformational outcomes that you provide into your marketing messages creates an emotional connection with your audience and those that would become potential clients. Also, if you have had a journey that supports what you do as a healer or a helper or a practitioner, use that in your origin story. That gives your audience so much faith that you can help them too. Show them that you know what they're going through because you've been there and that you know how to help because you're now on the other side. With these marketing foundations in place, what you'll next need to consider is your online presence. So you've got those foundational elements and now you're looking at how you're going to bring those to life in the marketing activities that you undertake. We are really blessed in this day and age that we have so much free marketing available to us online. And I really implore you to go and capitalize on that. I believe the best marketing strategies are first built from organic or free marketing channels. And once you're getting traction organically, I think that's the best time then to consider paid marketing options. I think that before you get good traction in your marketing, paid options may not be the best avenue. So aim to build organically or on free channels first and then move into paid later on. But how can you go about creating an engaging online presence that will resonate with your ideal clients and your target audience? Everybody is online. There is so much clutter out there. You know that every single practitioner, helper, healer, coach is out there posting and sharing what they do. So to make sure that you create an engaging online presence that stands out, First, I want you to consider where your ideal clients are. This might not be your favorite social media platform or your favorite online space, but you need to be where your ideal clients actually are. I want you to consider all the social media platforms that are available to you and work out which are going to be the best locations for you to be seen by the people that you ideally want to help. And I also want you to take that to another level because as a soulful entrepreneur, I want you to choose platforms and spaces that you do want to work with. That way you can be really authentic and you can show up as yourself. So consider that. Have a look at what you're using right now. Are these the spaces where your ideal clients are hanging out? Will they find you there? If not, you might want to have a relook. Now, more than just social media, your online presence encompasses your website, directories that you might be on, your business listing with Google, every online space where your business can show up for your ideal clients to find you. That is part of your online presence. So I want you to think about this in totality. You want to ensure a very streamlined and a very engaging persona across all of these online spaces. So no matter which platform or space your audience finds you, they know that it's you. Use very similar bios. Use the same photograph. Make sure it's easy to see your face so you're very recognizable. Make it easy, as easy as possible, for the people who want to work with you to find you. Now, don't forget to leverage a variety of content across all of these online spaces and social media platforms that reflects you and your brand and also how you help. You need to be looking to share a range of things from valuable content uh, that engages with your audience and builds community around your brand to entertaining elements that show the fun and light side of working with you. The next part of marketing that you need to consider is your content marketing. Content marketing allows you to establish yourself as an authority in your field while you're providing some value to your audience. I want you to develop a content strategy in advance with your target audience in mind that was going to move you out of overwhelm and into taking intentional action. When you have a content strategy in place and you know what you need to do and when, you move into a to-do list instead of overwhelm. 
Now, whether it is through your blog or videos or podcasts, your website, your socials, any area that you're using content, your goal needs to be to educate, to inspire, and to empower your audience while building trust and credibility. I personally believe, though, that the number one gold nugget in marketing right now and one that most soulful entrepreneurs are not using to the fullest capacity is email marketing. It remains one of the most effective ways to nurture your leads and build relationships with your ideal clients and your audience. Your email list is an amazing marketing asset and you own it. You have complete control over using it. No one's going to shut that down. No one's going to take it away. I think using a freebie resource or a lead magnet is a great incentive to grow your email list. And then you can use email campaigns to provide consistent value content. You can share updates. You can promote your services. It's a great way to build that relationship with the people in your audience and on your list. Now, one other thing to consider, in this digital age, it is really easy to forget the huge impact that can come from networking and referrals and word of mouth recommendations. All of these hold incredible power in building trust and attracting new clients. Testimonials are amazing social proof. They instill confidence in potential clients and it makes them more likely to work with you. Be sure to ask clients for testimonials and showcase them on your website, on your social media platforms, on your marketing materials. It doesn't take much to ask a client for a review and most clients are very happy to provide that for you. So make sure you're getting those pieces of gold that are testimonials. Now, as it's such a dominant format in marketing right now, I'm going to dive briefly into video content. It really deserves a specific mention. Video is currently dominating pretty much all social media platforms and it can significantly enhance your marketing efforts because it gets such high engagement levels and reach and it can really help broaden your audience too and put you in front of new people. Now, how could you be using video content? There are a number of different ways. You could be sharing video content in the form of behind the scenes or before or afters. You could use educational insights. Those client testimonials that we just spoke about would be great. And you can use live video as well. That's a really engaging way to market yourself online. What is really great about video is the way that it helps people feel like they know you. It builds trust and connection faster than many other marketing opportunities. So now, as soulful entrepreneurs, you all have a bigger mission and are aiming to make a real impact in people's lives. You are here to help. You are here to support. And to be able to do this, you need to embrace additional elements into your marketing. And I'm going to dive into those with you now. So this is that secret source, that sprinkling of glitter that goes into your marketing that lets your heart and soul shine through. Because I know that all of you, you have a bigger mission and you are prioritizing the impact that you make and the people that you help above profit. So many of you are actually motivated by a sense of mission and wanting to make a difference on a bigger scale. I want you to let this purpose and this mission flow through your marketing and your messaging and your offers. Share that with your audience. Let them know. With this in mind too, I think you can create more value in your marketing. I, As an example, let me tell you something that I do. I personally have a goal that I want to provide value and actionable strategies to those in my audience, things that you can take right now and use to move your business forward, regardless of whether or not these people actually come and work with me on a one-to-one or a paid basis. I think giving value is really, really important. So think about your business and how you can make a difference in your marketing too. Lead with positivity and put that out. Let people know that this is why you're here. The next element that is a really big hallmark of soulful entrepreneurs is our authenticity. Your marketing needs to stay true to who you are and your values, even if that means at times you need to take a risk or go against the norm 
You really need to show who you are and let your loyal audience line up behind you. There is no point using marketing strategies that aren't made for soulful entrepreneurs. Using strategies from other industries don't work for us and using strategies that are from other businesses probably won't work for you either. You are a unique business, you're a unique entrepreneur and you require a unique strategy. The great thing that I see though in soulful and heart-centered entrepreneurs is that you often approach business in really creative and innovative ways. So don't be afraid to think outside the box when it comes to marketing and try new things. And it could also help you create unique offers and solutions that are really aligned with your values and your mission and your bigger purpose. So today, to wrap up this episode on igniting your business with impactful, soulful marketing, I want you to begin with being crystal clear on your purpose and your mission and your values. I want you to write that down. I want you to become really clear on what that is. The next element I want you to add to that is your compelling brand story or your origin story. And use that as a way to build trust and authenticity with your audience. Next, you need a really deep understanding of your ideal client and your target audience. What are their pain points? What do they desire? What do they struggle with? And then based on that, you can then choose the platforms, the places and the spaces online that you will show up and offer value to help these people that you love to help. By incorporating all of these strategies while staying true to who you are, you will ignite your marketing, you'll get momentum in your marketing and you will start to attract the right clients who resonate with your purpose and what you do. Remember, friends, that embracing the real you in your marketing is the key to being a soulful entrepreneur. You need to focus on staying authentic, making a positive impact, staying in your lane, and prioritizing the value that you offer to your audience. All of these elements will then blend into a business and a marketing strategy that is aligned with you, but also makes a difference in the lives of those people that you love to help. If you need help creating soulful marketing with some impact, I invite you to check out the links in the show notes. I've got some free resources there for you. And you can also reach out to me via socials and my free group, the Soul Align Marketing Hub. I'd love to see you in there. Free advice and lots of training are in there for you. So please come on in. Thank you so much for joining me today and I'll see you next time. Thank you for listening to Soulful Entrepreneurs Unleashed. If you are ready to create soulful success in your business, grab my guide to soulful revenue creation and start creating your wildly abundant life. Thanks for being here and I'll see you in the next episode.